Well, why don't you know it, guys? We're back here in the woods, back on our flow trail, back to work. I know riding's way more fun, but I really want to get this trail done. We find, we did some uh, little tweaking up here. You guys can watch that. We just did a little bit of time lapse of us filling in some holes and uh, adding some dirt to this landing. But finally, we're getting to the uh, next feature of this trail, which is this berm down here <clears throat> and a step down. Land off this step up, you shoot down. Since we've already got this groomed out a couple years ago, but now we're finally getting back and you're gonna shoot down this hill. <clears throat> you're just gonna be barreling down this thing, dude, I swear. Just full throttle, <clears throat> all the way down. into this catch berm. <clears throat> now this catch berm, we still gotta do a little dress up, put a little uh, just fine powder on top to get some plate compaction down and you know, get it ready for bird, for the tools really. <clears throat> now as soon as you come off that, we're gonna get this step up rolling or step up, step down. It steps down into this little gully, and then eventually, we're gonna put a hip back there. But today, the goal is to get down here, work on this berm, work on this step down, and uh, just dress everything up. So we're gonna put time lapses on both of us, and you guys are gonna watch us start to get to work on this thing. So, watch. Well, first things first, I think what I'm going to want to do is uh, take these trees out, these like three little dead trees in this little cluster of trees. Isn't that one alive right there, though? Uh, no. <laughs> um, it just... So anyhow, I'm thinking about making this like almost... See how it's almost like off camber? I think maybe we take some of that dirt and we use that for the berm. It's almost it's like one huge berm, but like... Right, you're kind of like all these angle down yeah I mean like it doesn't need to be like that but I'm gonna use to find some dirt for that reason so uh, start pushing trees <laughs> It looks pretty okay, but I gotta do the finalizing like always. I gotta do all the grunt work. I get tired of it, but I'm gonna do it. I got a shovel and a plate compactor, so it's less grunt work. And we're gonna get this all this moved up. PJ has some more stuff he's doing, and we'll get you right back from the time lapse. Wait and see because you know you need somebody. So now that I've got all this dirt from that hill brought down. I'm just kind of pulling it from the bottom of the berm, scooping it up, and setting it back here on the uh, back side of the tall part of the berm. And it's kind of already flowing down, making the shape I want it. Uh, bird's obviously gonna have to come in here with the shovel and, you know, dress it up. But gravity usually kind of does a lot of the work when trying to get this slope right. So I'm just gonna keep back it up like so bringing it back hopefully I can get it all the way to the uh, lip bring all this dirt keep a nice steady radius corner all the way to that lip We had our GoPro on, and as soon as I dropped in, it went dee 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 dee. It died. So we did a first run, and we actually hit this first go. Um, I mean, we bird kind of cleared it. I kind of didn't clear it, but we didn't hit it solid. You know, you guys didn't miss out on anything. So we're gonna get a proper 
film some proper hits on this. Maybe get a little clips of us rolling into this berm. And uh, thanks for watching, ma'am. I think this turned out pretty well. You really do. Yeah, I landed pretty smooth. Whoa. I landed really smooth. Just, you gotta carry as much speed as you can. Sick. I mean, you're, really smooth. you're cooking after this. Oh, you want plenty of, <laughs> Got the biggest stick. No, we'll have plenty of speed for the top secret ultra mega super rad Steez McGee jump that's coming next. Heck yeah.